What's going on today, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. It's snowing outside, so that's always cool. I love the snow, love being out in it, but working out in it sucks. Luckily, we've gone through, we've cleaned up the garage here, so we can actually pull the car in. We've got the Traverse pulled in today. We still have a check engine light pop up, popping up every now and then, and it's just not not working because the remote start doesn't work that's the biggest thing so she's got a remote start on this car and it won't turn on with a check engine light on so with that let's figure out what this check engine light in the let is the last of the parts just showed up so that's cool we're gonna get a lot of the things that i think are the problem taken care of and uh that's usually your pretty good starting point i know i've got the broken intake boot i ordered a new one of those that's a pretty much for sure leak but i've also got both the front and rear pcv valves and then it's always good to get a gas cap they're cheap so we'll go ahead and install all those um let's go ahead and read this car see what it's actually saying hopefully it is evap leak still and not something else that'd be fun but we'll go ahead pop this on and read the codes see what it's saying and go from there well there it is we've got another evap small leak detected so we'll go ahead and check those things out clear this code and put those new pieces on all right so i've got my new gas cap i've got the rear pcv and then the front pcv and also the air intake there you go you got the part numbers for those there's the part number for the intake And then we've got our gas cap that has the part number. So with this metal one, these holes on in here are just a little bit too small. They don't quite breathe enough air. So with that, we're gonna open them up just a little bit and get a, a little bit better breathe through here to actually run this PCV. So this is the rear one, it's the metal one. The front one is a plastic, but it's just a plastic little elbow, nothing exciting and uh, we'll go ahead and replace those. So we'll go ahead, we'll take this first boot off. We'll start with the easy, well, maybe not the easiest one, but we'll take this clip off or this hose clamp. There's a hose clamp here and then take this off. This whole piece goes down to the plastic little 90 and then that will take care of two of them really quick and easy. So right here is your intake, and this piece attaches to the intake, just a little pressure clip, pull that off. And then down here is your 90. If you need to, this little hose can come out, and then we can go ahead and just pull up on that, and there's the 90, pulls out. We'll need to save these pieces, put them on the new ones. So we've gone ahead, rebuilt this whole system. Uh, I added some zip ties on it, Small vacuum leak, a little bit helps, so it's not necessary. There's a pretty tight fit, but now it's a really tight fit. It's not really gonna go anywhere. Put some uh, white lithium grease around that before we put it in, but let's go ahead and install that metal one because it's in the back and it's gonna be way easier without that in there to actually get to it because it's gonna be a pain and not gonna be fun to do. So we'll go over here and do this. I don't know how well you guys are actually going to be able to see this, but this hose that goes from the top of the engine, right here, this guy, if we follow it all the way down to the back, kind of drops down, and then it goes into, yeah, it's going to be really hard for you guys to see, but, oh, there you go, you can just see it on the edge of the flashlight right there that's where it's got a that's where that pcv valve is actually at so or that breather valve so we'll go ahead and get to undoing that one so to get this hose off of the back pvc there's actually this little tang right here this tang needs to lift up and then get separated from this hook you can kind of see that there's a hook right there uh, you can kind of tell but that 
clip goes up and out to make it over this holder. And that's what's actually going to release our back PCV because that rib right there is held on by that piece. It gets all, it's all tight in there. If we move this back, it'll move it just enough to pull this off and then we'll go ahead and the other end has a twist. So you have to twist the whole thing to get it to come in and out. So we'll go ahead. Well, I took that pipe out that goes to that back PVC and I think I might have found our leak. There's a little strand right here that was ran over the top of this top part. So this is the top part of that breather valve and this strand was stuck underneath that seal. That might have been our small leak that we were having. So hopefully that was it. We'll go ahead, get that thing out of there, make sure it doesn't go in, clean everything up, and uh, finish installing that back uh, breather valve. But that might have been my uh, vacuum leak. So here we go, we've got our old one and then our new one. And you can always tell if something's leaking if it has like a defined oil stain on it you'll see it'll have a streak this one doesn't look like we have any streaks it was kind of a pain to get out I put some needle nose around this barb right here twisted it and lift it up that way I didn't scratch this surface and you don't want to break the surface underneath it because it's plastic so go ahead clean the ports up where this goes and put them back in well, getting it in there was not a very elegant solution, but I've got a socket on it. You can see it sitting down there now. It's nice and flush. And what I did was actually took a hammer through the back here and was able to grab onto it with the head around both sides and just kind of tap it in like that was able to just slowly tap it in there but we managed to get it just a couple little taps pull the hammer out and then we'll pull our socket out i think it's a, like a half or a 12 or something like that you can use your old one to double check everything turns out it's a 7 16 deep socket and it just fits right over the front of this make sure it doesn't hit on anything and then i just tap this end with the hammer and it was able to just tap it down in there real ever so gently. So got that new one in. That was kind of more of a pain than it needed to be. And then we'll go ahead and put the uh, hose back on that attaches to that. So we've got everything now put back together. I've tightened down the hose clamps on the new intake boot. We've put our breather back on for our front. We put our back breather back on for the rear. The front's kind of, or the rear's kind of goofy. You got to twist it put that one in bring it over put the back on but you have to pull that tab out because that tab won't push itself out so you have to pull that tab out push it down and then that make sure that tab locks back on the little uh, hook that's on there once that's done the rear's done we've gone ahead put everything back together we put our hose back on this little guy we've got it all put back together i put grease a little bit of grease on all the o-rings just to help them fit in there easier and help seal up a little bit. Maybe take some of the dirt that's with it. Hold the dirt. Hopefully it'll seal. We've got everything kind of pieced back together. And now let's clear the code, start the car, and see if we've got the codes running again. Actually, we've got a fuel cap to put on there. We'll put the cap on, then we'll clear all the codes and go from there. So I was able to push the or pull the gas cap all the way out and then put some kinks in this line, bend it around and there's a really good hole right here that you can put your fingers in. Bent it around, pulled it out with my fingers and then we'll cut this off because I don't want it rattling around the back of the car. You could probably cut it off with it pulled out but I don't want it rattling so we are going to go with that. If you also wanted to save it, you could probably bend this up like this and then put a piece of tape around it bend it up, put a piece of tape around it. You could probably save it like that. Since I got a new one and it's got that tail on it, we're gonna get rid of it, pull this thing out. Now with all of this, cleanliness is key. So you can see that it's kinda dirty 
That might have been the problem. I mean, the gas or the white part definitely is really dirty. So cleanliness is key. We'll go ahead, clean up that side, the car side, and make sure that it's sealing well. And then we'll throw this away, get the new one on there. There it is, a little bit of scotch bright. Clean it right up. Stick a rag in here first, scotch bright it. I pulled the rag out. I'm ready to install the cap now. We'll go ahead and put this bad boy through here. Force it through. Now that that's all installed, we'll go ahead and fish it through. One click, there it is. Done. Got the codes all cleared. Everything's put back together. Nothing sounds funny, so we'll go ahead take this on a quick test drive. Make sure that everything's doing okay with it. No check engine lights still, so that's good. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.